Is that the human? Oh, it is a... Oh, dude, who is this guy? He seems pretty baller, though. Can I talk to you or what? Military agent. I need your help, please. My friend is injured. Could you spare a first aid kit? I can't leave him alone, so please help me. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to... Infectinator Survivors. I'm your host, the Birdman known as Falcon. So, we wrapped up our day. We're back in the headquarters, hopefully to level up and also get our energy back because we took some silly damage with the last mission there. But otherwise, we're fine. So let's get in here really quickly. I really want to find a third person to the party. I think that'd be very helpful for expeditions as well. Especially now that we're dealing with the zombie boss monsters and all that jazz here. So four supplies have been consumed by the survivors. We should have a lot more of them because we found quite a few out there. And we could probably even make a couple of them if we want to. So let's see, let's do our little base stuff here. You're working on that project still, huh? Which was to... Oh, I think you're looking for a supply catch? Is that what it was? Eh, it was one or the other. Alrighty, so let's see here. Let me go to the workshop. Now, you guys told me in the comments to start focusing on getting weapon upgrades because it'll help me actually find upgraded weapons in the field as opposed to just making them myself. So let's go over here to study basic weapons, and that'll be 500 and 1,000, right? So let's select this one here, and we'll go ahead and probably use some fuel for this to kind of up the ante. Oh, we got the levels too. Well... You've already maxed out aim. I think the next thing we should probably start focusing on is HP. So we actually survive hits out there. So we'll go with one, two. Just get a lot of HP if you can. Confirm that one. And for you, we'll do the same thing. Boom, baby. The more HP we have, the less liable we are to die, which is great. So that's great. Let's go over here to assign now. And also assign Vato Loco. You guys work on this. And let's go ahead and use some fuel. We have 10. We'll go ahead and boost this up right here. How much is that boost? Oh, it's going to take us a while still. We don't really have a dedicated research person, so it is taking us quite a bit longer for that. I think we go ahead and boost again, though. Just might as well do it. So we're almost done with the build portion, but now the search. You know what? I'm going to do another one. I've heard that early on it's very important to get these things up and running as soon as possible. So I'll even use another one. Why not? I know I'm going to need fuel to get out of here, but <laughs> I think this is actually worthwhile. Getting those basic weapon research so we can actually find stronger weapons out there. So that's fine. We'll hold on to six fuel for now. And let's go ahead and speed it on up. Okay, there we go. Study basic weapons. After extensive study, your survivors can now identify, operate, and craft basic weapons. So that's great. Now let's go over here to getting out of this menu. Oh! Oh, this is the, um... Is that what um, Scotty was looking out for? I think I had him search for survivors, maybe, huh? A response. A voice from your radio breaks the silence. Who is this? What do you want? Someone seems to be in answering our calls. How should we respond? Ignore it, invite to headquarters, or offer help. Um... <laughs> I don't know which one's the right one. We'll invite? You answer the radio and told them about your headquarters. Could this be bad? Could this, like, be, like, raiders or the bad dudes out there and they're probably gonna come in here and, like, raid the base? Is that a possibility in this game? I have no idea. You told them your location and invited them to come. That's a terrible idea. I would never do that in real life. When the transmission ended, you started to contemplate your actions. Perhaps giving your location to unknown strangers was not a good idea. Yeah! That's what I was thinking right now. We finished the broadcast. You received a call. And the next thing we have to do, you guys told me, was study advanced weapons. Oh, it requires the handgun magazine, which we do have. No way. No way. Well, that's not too bad. I think we, we should probably do that one. We can do the turret upgrade as well. Let's do this one right here. And I'm down to boost one more time for this. I think the faster we have is probably the better for us, right? After a few attempts, you successfully gathered information that led to a fuel location. You marked the location on the map. Excellent. So at least we have more fuel over here. Now, in the comments, you guys told me, why not give the shotgun to Vic and the UMP to Vato? Because Vic could walk and reload at the same time. Which could be very useful for the shotgun, because it's strong. You know what? Why not? Let's give that a try. So I'm going to give you a shoddy. And Vato, I will give you the UMP. I'll work it out this way. Let's see if it works out. This is a suggestion I read, so we'll see if it plays out for me. So let's see here. We have a quest over here. This could be the fuel one, maybe? Is the fuel actually marked as fuel, or would it just say quest? Yeah, that could be the fuel one right here. But we have a quest marker for it. We also have question mark over here in these buildings. I think we come down here, and then we check that out. Maybe it's fuel. And then this is the quest marker we saw earlier in that police station, which I guess could be pretty cool for us. So how about let's... Um, jump over here for now 
Have we been here before? No, we have not. I think I want to go through the places I've been through before, maybe, right? Explore. I haven't explored that one? Really? Oh, okay, I see what you're saying. Well, I don't have to stop there, do I? I don't think I do. So we could just come over here. There could be a random event, but I don't have to stop there. Zombie ambush. Of course, there's no way I'll get ready to fight. My RNG luck is just not good sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Alrighty, so I have to deal with an ambush. I was hoping to just kind of run by here, but okay. So, shotgun man up front. Let's have you search this out. The waves. Oh, I, I get started whenever I want to. Okay, at least that's good. Search this out. Bot till you handle that. Good. Nice crit right there. And there they come. There they come. Should we build a turret? People told me I don't have to break down the turrets either. Like, I could just leave them there. And uh, when I come back next time around, they'll still be there. So I could just do that and then just refuel them with ammunition by 25 units every single time. So I guess that's like a really good alternative for us too. But um, right now, maybe we don't need them. Let's see if we could just funnel them to come down through here would be very ideal. Oh, they're coming from the backside. It's no good from the backside. Okay. Nice, nice, very nice. Good job, guys. This aim boost that we've given them has actually helped out quite a bit, I want to say. Very cool. Yeah, this is no need for um, turrets right now. But I do want to check that trash can out. Send them over. Send them over. Now, once we have a chance with Vato Local, I want to check out this tire right here, which should be now. And with Vic, I could probably walk over here, take care of this zombie. Oh, there's another zombie here, too. Mm, no time to search. No time to search. Do it now. Okay, that's good. Send me the next wave. Oh, next area. Okay. We checked everything over here? Yes, we did. Let's go. Alrighty. So far, so good. Nothing too crazy. We have to reload pretty soon, however. Let's move forward. Uh, send that wave now. As long as they come in through this side, I think we can follow them pretty well. Oh, shit. Reload. Oh! He got saved just in time. Hmm. Not too crazy about the setup now. We're a bit too split up, it seems. Hmm. Let me have you come this way, Vato. Aha. Uh -huh. That's probably a little bit better, I'm gonna say. Maybe you should just do the back to back thing. <laughs> you watch my back, I watch yours. Send it over. Nah, I think this is fine. This is a okay. Yeah, yeah, keep watching each other's bag. That's cool. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get through. No damage, really. Uh, we have a couple of things to check out, though. Oh, oh, oh. There, yeah, we got it. Vic. Search. And then you, my man, search down here. So where did it go? Okay. The ambush wasn't really too bad. Oh, there's a couple more things I want to check out, though. Vic, hurry! We should be able to get them all. We got a gun bar. Nothing like a gun bar, baby. And then Vic. Down here. Got a car tire as well. Hurry, 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 hurry. Nine seconds, come on, buddy. You should be able to get it. Yeah. All right, cool. That wasn't bad at all. That was actually really, really good. I think we've done some really good upgrades on them, too. The HP and the A maxed out should be our first things to focus on. So the ambush is done. Let's go check out this quest marker now. Um, So we should probably explore. You guys told me a thing in the comments that if I don't scout, the waves come nonstop in the, explore uh, in the areas we're exploring. So that's the reason why last time the waves would not stop at all. Uh, so let's come over here right now. And let's see. Oh, come on! And this is the reason why I didn't scout last time, because I got ambushed again. So it was kind of like, you know, do the ambush, do the tower defense part, and then do the the scout afterwards. All right, there's there's possibility here to escape, though. So hopefully, if we go through the alley, we don't die. You decided to go through the alleyway hoping to avoid the zombie horde. Your gamble paid off! Oh, thank god, okay. Just brush off the sweat from the forehead here, I was trying to get a little bit tense, but we're fine. So let's go over here and scout it out now. So once we go through here, we'd have to deal with a endless amount of waves. Alrighty. Defense 5 of 5. Oh no, it's giving me that thing where if I let him get through, I'm bone for it. I don't like that at all. You search over here, the waves are coming up already. Man, no time to search, huh? I'm almost considering... Grabbing ourselves a turret for this one. 
because this one could be a bit more scarier. Yeah, we might do that. I might grab a turret here pretty soon. Let's have local come closer. You search this out. Here's our next wave. Send it over. Oh boy, that's a lot of them. <laughs> this might have been a terrible time to check out inventories here. Stop, stop. Okay. Go, go for it. Alrighty. Should I come up here right now? No, I'm gonna hold off. Next wave, next wave. Vic, get into position and we'll send the wave now. Alrighty, got another pistol grip here. As long as they keep sending these zombies, it's fine. It's usually the one to give you the bigger, tougher ones, and it's more of a problem. So now, run over here really quickly. And maybe you have enough time for this, too. We have one more wave before we probably have to switch areas, too. So, loco, position, and then send the wave over. We got everything? Yes, we did. Come down here if you can. Oh, reloading, reloading is fine. This is working out. Whoever suggested, the people who suggested the, the gun change, I think that was a great idea. Next one over. All right. Let's see, we have a car, garbage can, a lot of garbage cans. Oh boy, okay. So this one here could be the tough one. So you know what, I think we have a lot of ammunition going that I'm gonna build one turret for now. And you search this over here. I'll let this wave come in when it's ready. So it gives me some time to get this search over here. And you continue searching meanwhile. Oh, they're going from the top side. Oh! Big old tough zombie, huh? Get ready for that. Good job. Uh, back to search. And maybe you can come up here. Send that wave. Uh, the turret down there should take care of the bottom ones. I'll take care of the top ones. Loco, back to searching. I'll handle this area here. Nice. Nice. Very nice. And once you're done with the car, I think we might have to do another one. No. So, back here, send the wave. So far, so good. I don't want to necessarily pat myself in the back just yet, but I think we're doing alright. Oh, 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 oh. There you go. Search down here. No damage so far. Excellent. Another wave coming up. Let's um, help out with the search over here, and then finally we're that one. Okay. So with this done, we have everything now searched. Well, one last wave. Wouldn't be surprised to get something really scary here right now, but... Big ones. Big ones coming about. Got it. Got it. Yeah. And as you guys told me, leave the turrets here because I have to come back and they'll stay here behind. So, that's cool. We got everything, right? Let's go. Good job. Amazing scout. And now we go in there and explore and find out whatever's in this quest marker. This could be bad. I hope it's just not humans. As long as it's not humans, I think we'll be okay. This is a place where some fuel is located. Find it. Okay, so it is the fuel one. Um, so, we'll do the usual here, which is just... Explore everything around. And get as much of this map completed for ourselves here. And then we'll go in from the inside. And because we did the scout, we won't have like an endless supply of waves. So that's pretty cool too. Alright. Let's keep going. This is gonna be... Oh, you know what? It's not a... Yeah, it's a house, right? So it's gonna be like that map that we did earlier. Where there was very minimal entry points because it's a, a house. Not an actual like store that sells stuff. So here's our first wave right now. As long as I can keep you guys together, we should be okay. This zombie's been following me for a while. Have you noticed that? That zombie's been on my tail for a minute now. He just really wants a piece of the Birdman. Or Vanta Loco and Vic, whichever. Alright. More of that scouted? Alright, cool. Now, it said wave number one, but... Surprise, there hasn't been too many zombie activity just yet. Other than the guy that was chasing us for a while. Let's take care of this guy if we can. Oh, he's leaving? Okay, well... Oh, he's coming back. He changed his mind. He had a change of heart. Reloading. I love the fact that we have um, Vic reloading with the shotgun as he walks. I think that's actually very good. I kind of want to get more people that can reload as they walk. I think if you have that, you're kind of really safe in this game, aren't you? I mean, assume you have to deal with humans who could probably do the same thing as you can. So there you go. We have like 50% of the map over here mapped out already. Is that it for the waves? I'm actually surprised that we haven't been hit with more. I think the one scout alone did it. All right, screw it. We'll start going through the cars here if we can. Oh, here's wave number two. Okay. I was worried there for a second. I was like, really? Is that it? I'm actually quite surprised. And one more time. And we go. All right. Oh yeah, and people told me as well, if I hit Q, I can select them all at the same time without having to do the squared thing. I'm just so used to, you know, 
using like you know using the mouse to scroll around people and grabbing them that way. It's kind of like one of those things where you kind of get used to it. So yeah, I know Q is there, but eh. At this point, I just love doing the <laughs> the square drag. It reminds me a lot of my RimWorld stuff when I used to play that too. Always just drag everybody together at the same time. There you go. Here we go. So this might be the fuel here. Oh, Jesus. Move back. Oh boy, I think we found where the big wave was at, huh? It was inside the building the entire time. Vic, check this out. And do we search this now? No, no, we have some dudes coming. Got some dudes still coming around. Reloading. All right, search it now. Iron crate. You found an iron crate. You open it up and find one gallon of fuel. Excellent. So let's move in through here. Oh boy. Don't want to get stuck in here with no horde. Wave number three coming up. Okay. Keep going, keep going. As long as we work together, we'll be fine. Search this out. Oh boy. Oh boy. Man, that... Oh, we got some wine, I think. I think we got some wine. You saw that um worker zombie, that construction worker? That guy is actually really, really fast. Kind of scary how fast that dude actually moves. Huh? Come on, come on. There you go. Loading. Get her good. All right. Now, I want to continue searching because there is probably a lot of... A lot more fuel here because I saw a couple more exclamation marks as we were actually searching around. We're almost done with the exploration part of this map, too. So now you search over here. That probably won't be fuel, obviously, but... Could be something else that's good. Get close, get close. All right. Wave number six. Out of ammo. Reload it, buddy. Reload it. There you go. And our map's just about explored. Uh oh Big girls, huh? They down. A lot of big girls, though. Reloading. Move back. Okay. This horde needs to stop at some point. <laughs> I want to search stuff. Let me search. Oh, no, reloading too. Dude, that was a terrible time to reload. Almost got me decked here. Wave number eight. Hey, when is this um, wave gonna stop, huh? Area explored. Okay. Search fast. Search fast. Hurry up. Come on. Come on. Get him. Got him. Let's go up. There was one more exclamation mark up here. I'm pretty sure I saw one. There it is. Wave number nine. Still showing up. Vato, you check that out. Oh, this probably won't be fuel now. All right, so we have a backpack. We will search it. And what are we going to get? Ooh, we found a note next to the corpse. It says, I've been bitten. I couldn't go on. Whoever you are, please tell my family I love them. It seems he committed suicide. A bullet to the head and did the job. Ooh. Oh, we got a photo, too. There's a photo next to it. Inside the backpack, you found 20 ammunition and two supplies. Very nice. Okay. Well, you know. It's either become a zombie or take yourself out. Which one would you guys prefer? Would you take yourself out or become a zombie? I probably would take myself out. I'm not sure if I could just, um, live with the... Well, I mean, I would be dead already, but... When I'm alive now, I'm not sure I'd be comfortable with the idea of just wandering around as a corpse for the rest of my life, just chomping down on people. Tell me there's an exit through here, and I'm not going through, like, a dead end. This is totally a dead end, isn't it? It's totally a dead end. Oh, that's a terrible idea. <laughs> oh, boy. Terrible idea. Especially with Big Bertha showing up here. Come on, guys. Reload, buddy. All right, we gotta go. We gotta go. This map can be tricky with all the dead ends it does have. We gotta find an exit here. Wave number 12. So, you guys mentioned that the waves would stop if I scouted the area. Yo, I scouted this area out and the waves are still coming strong. So, maybe it depends. I don't know. Is there a limitation to the waves? Got no idea, but we're getting out of here. Out, out, we're out. Leave. Hoo boy. Scary, but we got it. Okay, so we got some fuel. Beware level seems to be pretty low. Let's do it. Let's explore. There's a quest marker here, so who knows what this is for. Hopefully another character, that'd be great. You heard someone calling. Hey, is someone there? Oh, there is another person here. Oh, sweet. Okay, so we might be able to get another person to join us. I'm not sure how this works out. Do I have to keep them alive, maybe? Or talk to them only, and then they join, I get to use them, or... I don't know, should I find them first, or should I explore? 
I'm not sure if I should explore first or find them first. Well, I guess I'll just look around, and maybe we could find them as I explore. I imagine you'll, they'll probably have like one of those indication markers over their head, which makes it very obvious where they're at. Okay. Barrels to search. I I'll skip the searching for now, because I think I'd rather- Oh, here we go! No, that's- that's- <laughs> I don't think that person was talking to us. That person's been dead for a while. Uh, let's search the backpack. Ooh! We found some armor, finally! Sweet! I'm happy about that. Can I... Can I... Equip that momentarily, or am I too busy? Probably too busy at the moment. Alright, let's try to find this human. Oh, there! Maybe there? Ah! We ran through the goo momentarily, we lost 5 HP. You know what, that's fine. Look what they've done! Oh, they, they haven't actually completely blocked it, but... Is that even a human there? I don't even know. Oh, they have blocked it completely. I can't walk through there. Look at that! Both of the entry points are actually covered in this goddamn slime. <laughs> I told you guys, it's... Don't walk through there, please. Don't don't be a dingus. Is that the human? I have no idea. Human, where you at? Maybe we could approach through this side. Ah! Uh, uh, stop! You guys are so annoying with that shit. You guys are so annoying with that. Look, they're just leaving it everywhere now. Is that the human? Oh, it is a... Oh, dude, who is this guy? He seems pretty baller, though. Can I talk to you or what? Military agent, I need your help, please. My friend is injured. Could you spare a first aid kit? I can't leave him alone, so please help me. Do I have one? I don't need. I don't need. I don't think I have one. I'll say yes if we have it. Oh, we did. Thank you very much. I owe you one. Here, take this key to my stash. I hid it inside a toolbox. You can take whatever you want. The survivor marked the location of the stash on your map. Oh, I was hoping we get him to join. Look at that guy. He looks decked. He's like a. He's like a mini Rambo. I would have loved Mini Rambo in my squad here, but luckily, Mini Rambo is letting us actually... There's a lot of ammunition here, it seems. Well, we are at a police station, I suppose, so that would make sense. We should probably go through everything here. This is one of those maps you definitely don't want to skip. Look at that stash down here, too. And there's another question, or another exclamation mark here. Which we have to go around for. Uh, 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 don't walk through there. Don't you dare do it. Well, we're doing something different right now, which is actually covering the inside of the map first, as opposed to the outside perimeter, which we normally do. Which is fine. Look at the amount of these scientist zombies here, though. This is so goddamn annoying. Like, everything in the entire map is just being left over with this green goo. Which makes it really hard, especially controlling two people at once. Uh, search the backpack. Ooh, more ammunition? I will definitely take that. Okay. Keep going. Out of ammo? Oh, uh, you might want to stop then. Reload, buddy. I got you covered. Okay. Mmm, let's check this box out if we can. We should do that. Valto, you check it out. I'll deal with the zombies. Search that one. Okay. How much of the map we have? 52? That's not too bad. I want to go back to that stash that we saw next to the army dude. That was another big old stash over there. Have the hordes stopped? I haven't seen waves in a while. I mean, I don't want to jinx it by bringing it up, but ooh, we got a reflex sight. Once I get back home, I have to, or maybe even after we're done with this map, I got to do a lot of um, equipping here, because we have armor now, and we have some pretty good upgrades for the weapons, too, some additions, so... Once we're done here, I'm taking a look at that. All right. Is this a stash? No. Yeah, you know what? I think the zombies have stopped here. This is great. Awesome. I was hoping we get another person to join, but whatever. I'll take this one, too. Done. And is this the area? There it is. Oh, baby. So you s check that out. Check that out. I think we have a couple of cars outside, too. But we're practically done here now. Excellent. Search that out. Ooh, ooh, a fire axe. And a first aid kit. <laughs> Oddly enough, the one that we needed for that guy, we have it now again. And a python. Ooh. Probably not a really good rate of fire, but... I can imagine a cold python doing some really good number on these Zambros. So, now we gotta exploit the rest of the perimeter and we're done. Excellent. How's this video going? Oh, we're probably here a while. All right, guys, I'm gonna wrap it up here. At this point, the wave is done. All I have to do is just map out the rest of the perimeter. I will wrap it up here. We'll come back next episode. I'll show you what I'm equipping, and then we will continue from there. I hope you guys are enjoying it, though. Leave a thumbs up, leave a like. I will catch you next time.